Is there anything people can do to prevent glaucoma? Yeah, glaucoma, there's many reasons. What's the underlying reason behind glaucoma? Sometimes it's genetics. Like in my family, my grandmother had it, who I grew up taking care of, and she actually went blind from glaucoma, and uh, it was one of my things that I would never let anybody do that, and thankfully that's not happened. Um, glaucoma, we think about it as high eye pressure, but it's not high eye pressure. It's a disease of the optic nerve. And sometimes if you have a high eye pressure, it will break down the optic nerve. So one of the things we can do to help prevent glaucoma is to twofold. One is to try to keep the eye pressure as normal and as low as possible. And two, through nutrition to keep the optic nerve strong. So what can we do to keep the eye pressure um, normal? Aerobic exercise has been shown to lower the eye pressure three to four millimeters uh, you know, by just doing aerobic exercise 20 minutes a day, four times a week. Uh, eye massage, doing massage around your eyes to increase the circulation has been shown to be helpful. Um, so that to help lower the eye pressure. There is nutrients such as coleus, which is an Ayurvedic herb that's been shown to lower the eye pressure. To help to make the optic nerve strong, you want such things as, such as alpha lipoic acid, uh, taurine, uh, ginkgo biloba has been shown to increase blood flow to the optic nerve. So there's nutritional things you can do to help with the optic nerve, bilberry, grapeseed extract, uh, and also to lower the pressure. So we want to keep our eye pressure normal and we want to keep our eyes healthy at the same time. If you have glaucoma in your family, what are the chances <coughs> that you'll also get it? That's a good question. Um, it depends. You know, a lot of things are working with looking at the DNA these days, and uh, so I, I don't know. A, I don't know a yeah. specific. Um, but if they so then, then bottom line on that is if you've got it in the family, you have to be especially attentive to the eye pressure and to protecting the optic nerve. And then, if I don't have glaucoma in my family, what's the incidence of that? Same thing, because people think about it as a family thing potentially. Well, it's almost right. like, I mean, there's, there's millions and millions of people with glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So I feel that everybody, I'm going to say 40, but at least 50, should have a thorough, comprehensive, what I call glaucoma baseline evaluation. What does this consist of? It consists of your eye pressure. And when you do your eye pressure, you have to take in uh, things such as the corneal thickness and the corneal rigidity of the, and that will affect the eye pressure too. There's actually an eye pressure machine called corneal hysteresis that gives you the most accurate eye pressure. Two is you want to do a uh, test called an optical coherence thermography that takes a picture underneath the optic nerve and sees the vulnerability of your optic, uh, what we call nerve size. And the doctor, that should be part of a standard <clears throat> eye exam? I feel it should be at least when you're over 50. And third test for a glaucoma baseline is a visual field test that measures your peripheral vision. Now, do we do that as a standard exam for everybody who comes into the office? No, but I feel we should because we, then we can start to pick up the tendencies towards glaucoma maybe five, 10 years before it might become a problem, and then we can do preventative means to help Good. that. And if somebody has high, high blood pressure in general, are they at higher risk of glaucoma? There's a tendency for it, but there isn't a one-to-one -one relationship. Okay, got it. Good stuff. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. If you like what you just saw with Dr. Mark Grossman, come back to our website. We have a whole lot more videos with him and with our other great experts. And do me a favor, do the social thing. Share it. Tell your friends, tell your family. It's great information for all.